In this video, we will discuss the dorsal column medial lemniscal pathway. The dorsal column pathway is a tract of nerve fibers which is present in the posterior part of the spinal cord. These nerve fibers carry sensory information from all over the body to the brain. And this tract is composed of large myelinated nerve fibers which carry impulses at a velocity of about 40 to 110 meters per second. Now let's understand what type of sensory information does the dorsal column pathway transmit. The first and most important are the touch sensations, especially the fine touch. And there are certain properties of touch sensations that are only present due to spatial organization of the nerve fibers in the dorsal column pathway. One of them is your ability to differentiate where on the body is a point touching you. This is known as the localization of the touch sensations. The second important property is your ability to differentiate between a crude touch and a fine touch. And this is known as the gradation of the touch sensations. Other type of sensory information the dorsal column transmits are the sensations of vibration and proprioception. All these sensations are first perceived by specialized receptors present in the skin known as the Pacinian corpuscles and also the Meissner's corpuscles. These receptors then transmit the information through the nerve fibers to the spinal cord. Let's have a brief overview about the anatomy of this pathway. This is a cross section of this spinal cord showing the white matter, the central butterfly shaped grey matter. The nerve roots which enter the spinal cord posteriorly are known as the dorsal roots and the ganglions of these roots are the dorsal root ganglions. The ganglion is a collection of cell bodies of neurons. Looking at the cross section of spinal cord closer, we can see the green areas highlighted here are the position of the dorsal column pathway in the spinal cord. So this is a cell body of a neuron in the dorsal root ganglion and these neurons are known as the pseudo unipolar neurons because their one process splits into two processes. The peripheral process innervates the receptors we just discussed and carries the sensory information to the spinal cord through its central process. The central process when enters the spinal cord divides immediately into a medial branch and a lateral branch. The medial branch then ascends upwards into the spinal cord as a dorsal column pathway. The lateral branch forms multiple synaptic connections in the intermediate as well as the anterior portions of the spinal cord. These synaptic connections are very important as they help in formation of local reflex pathways. Some of these fibers also relay into the spinocerebellar tracts and some fibers ascend upwards in the dorsal column pathway. One important thing I would like here to mention is that the nerve fibers which carry the sensory information from the lower part of the body are more medially located in the dorsal column pathway and these are known as the gracile fasciculus. And the fibers which carry the information from the upper part of the body are more laterally located and known as cuneate fasciculus. Let's look at the organization of the dorsal column pathway. What you see right here are the multiple cross sections of spinal cord at various levels from the lumbar spinal cord up till the midbrain. And finally we have a section showing the cerebrum and the thalamus. So we have the sensory fibers which bring the information from the lower part of the body enter the spinal cord at the level of lumbar vertebrae. These fibers directly ascend upwards till the lower medulla on the same side with the spinal cord. In a similar fashion, the nerve fibers which bring the sensory information from the upper part of the body enter the spinal cord at the level of thoracic vertebrae and ascend up till the lower medulla. These are the first order neurons. In lower medulla, we see two sensory nuclei, the nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus in which these tracts relay. The nuclei give rise to second order neurons which cross to the opposite side of the medulla and travel upwards till the thalamus on the opposite side of the spinal cord. This is known as the decusation of fibers and these are known as the internal arcuate fibers. In a similar way, the fibers from the nucleus cuneatus ascend up till the thalamus on the opposite side of the spinal cord. The tract which is formed on the opposite side of the spinal cord is known as the medial lemniscus. In the midbrain, the medial lemniscus is joined by fibers coming from the fifth cranial nerve, the trigeminal nerve. These fibers bring sensory information from the head and the neck regions. 
In the thalamus, these second order neurons relay in the ventral basal complex. And from here, the third order neurons arise which project into multiple areas of the cerebral cortex. Mainly the somatosensory area 1, also known as the post central gyrus, and also the somatosensory area 2, which is known as the lateral parietal cortex. So, this was a brief overview about the dorsal column medial laminiscal pathway. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like our channel on YouTube for all the upcoming videos. And make sure to like our channel on Facebook for flashcards and upcoming notifications.